So um, all it's simply saying, guys, as long as if you have two mutually exclusive events, all you have to simply do um, to find the probability of this. So what they're asking is probability of m or n. All we're simply going to do then is take the probability of m and then add it to the probability of n. Now I decided I wanted to go through this because a lot of students still have some trouble with fractions. So therefore, I have 3 fourths plus 1 6. Remember, we cannot add fractions unless they have common denominators. So we go ahead and look at 3 fourths and 1 6. We look at the denominator, which is 4 and 6. And we say, what is the smallest number that 4 and 6 both divide into, which we would call our least common denominator, which is 12. So you can say your LCD is equal to 12. Therefore, we want to multiply by a multiplier to get both of these to be 12. So here it would be 3, and here it would be 2. However, when multiplying fractions to keep equivalent fractions, you have to multiply by the same number on the top and the bottom, because we don't want to change the fraction. We just want to get a multiple of the fraction. So therefore, we obtain 9 over 12 plus 2 over 12. Therefore, that gives us 11 over 12. So therefore, the probability of event m um, or n would be 11 twelfths. Or you could reduce that down to a percentage as well. But that'll be acceptable right there. Okay. 